Oh, hi there. Hey, here. Up right now? Well, so far, but you know, that's how it begins, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Okay. I hope that I can uh, be able to uh, catch up with you guys in uh, Ray Lakes. Yeah, exactly. I'm at uh, Dollar Lake and uh, Maddie spent the night here. It's good that she waited. So, I got my water and then uh, dry my tent fly. Hello guys again. Hopefully I can uh, catch up with you guys. <laughs> Alright, well I'm sure we'll see you tonight. Okay. Hi. See you soon. Look at those guys uh, were ahead of me and uh, that uh, Maddie now I was coming up. If I'm not mistaken Maddie, it will be about three miles. Oh really? Yeah. I thought it was two. I really hope that uh, it won't be as tough as it has been. Although it will, because uh, it's all uphill battle. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's see if it's on. <laughs> Have a good one. That must be uh, Arrowhead Lake.
took a couple shots here. I didn't do a long exposure. I wanted to, but taking too long. Too much of a hassle. So this is the first lake of the uh, Ray Lakes. They're a bunch, small or big. And uh, it looks gorgeous, but I don't want to spend too much time here. It was a quick shot. Uh, a couple of shots actually. With the uh, the rain clouds in the background and the sh the sun shone through like just for two seconds. I really liked it. Um, obviously, I didn't do any any uh, long exposure. It would have been kind of cool with the uh, the clouds, but once again, I want to get to the other the other side of the lake. So I just took a couple shots here. could give it a try and so far that's what I have it's really hard to see but yeah it's not bad I'm using a <coughs> six stop ND filter and um, as you can see 30 seconds f8 I'm gonna give it a try a few more times and then uh, I'm thinking of doing time lapse uh, more of that direction. So we'll see. I don't know if the sun's gonna come out or not. But um, I was hoping to catch some interesting look over there, but there's a rain cloud blanketed the entire sky so I don't know I don't know if they are just uh, flowing by but it's been this way since we right before we got here so at least uh, right now as I'm speaking the wind calmed down a little bit although the water is a little bit you know you see ripples and all that but 
it's not as bad as earlier. Gosh, it was so cold. Because of real filtering the water and you know the wind right through the lake. So anyway, that's where we came from. I don't know if you can see it. I'm bundled up in my uh, sleeping bag again. Wind just picked up and then died down again. Oh, it's cold. Anyway, I just did another shot. It was uh, exactly the same shot. seconds f8 and obviously ISO 100 okay, so I'm gonna do time lapse here the clouds will look pretty cool so much. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's time to eat. So I'm just waiting for the sky to get dark. Um, it's really windy out, so it's almost impossible to stay outside. I'm just waiting for the sky to get dark so that I can do the Milky Way. The water, the lake, Ray Lakes, um, at least uh, this part of, uh, part of the lake is not smooth, it's windy, like I said. It's really cold, um, so I have to bring my um, uh, sleeping bag with me again to uh, get some the Milky Way shots. I was uh, thinking of uh, North Star or Polaris or Big Dipper because uh, you know it's probably on the other side. And last night I tried that and it looks all right, but it could be better. So I'm just hoping that uh, I can shoot better today. I use the uh, this battery bank uh, rave power and uh, now it's all gone so one blue dot left I guess uh, that could charge a few percentage of on my iPhone I guess so yeah it's quite heavy I can't remember exactly how heavy this was but at least uh, I was able to charge uh, GoPro Karma grip at least three times but I'm saying from two dots to three dot or three dots to four dots so and then uh, my phone probably three times I tried to charge it with solar panel because we got here earlier but when we got here it was cloudy overcast almost overcast like a rain clouds rolled in and eventually the the clouds got cleared and I was able to uh, put it out there but the sun was already uh, dropping over the uh, the mountain reach line so almost impossible to charge any because I probably was like 15 to half hour the most anyway so uh, I have a small one as well that's a sort of like a backup and hopefully I'm gonna start charging it while hiking tomorrow so that uh, at least I can charge at least a one or two bars of this. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Milky Way will rise over Glen Pass. So I'm kind of excited about that. We'll see how it's going to go. And uh, if I have time, I'm going to do some uh, star trails. But yeah, so far it's really cleared. Uh, I'm glad that I did and hopefully it stays that way. Tomorrow we're gonna go over Glen Pass, which is about 1,300 uh, feet elevation gain. So it'll be a little bit challenging for me. We'll see if I have been acclimated okay or not. 
because uh, I wasn't doing well this morning, but in the afternoon I was, and you know you can tell that uh, I have more energy now. So let's see uh, how it goes tomorrow, and uh, if it goes well, uh, Maddie and I talked about it, and uh, we may go to Kearsarge Lakes. Um, that would be our next destination to spend the night at. But we'll see. We'll, we'll, we've decided to play by ear. Um, see how I'm doing at over the uh, Glen Pass. And then uh, if that goes okay, that's what we'll do. And then that would be our fourth night. And then uh, we may spend the night at uh, either Junction Meadow or even go all the way up to East Lake. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Because uh, if we end up spending night at uh, Kearsarge Lakes tomorrow, like we kind of talked about it, just uh, hiking back from Kearsarge Lakes all the way back to the trailhead, which is a uh, road's end, uh, would be, I don't know, close to like 14 miles or something like that. So it's all downhill for sure, but it'll be a little bit, you know, challenging. So we'll see. Always uh, one more extra night is an option for us. Uh, we talked about it from the get-go, but uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow first. Last night was really cold. I saw this morning on the tent, my tent, frost. Um, it was the first time ever that I actually had to put an extra layer on while sleeping inside my sleeping bag. So it was definitely cold. I'm doing the uh, long exposure. Obviously you can see the water is calm. I mean, it was calm and then wind picked up and then it's a little bit calmer now, although you can see ripples. So, um, I was hoping that I get the full reflection, but wind start picking up, so I don't know. It may not be the case. Woke up at 5.30, got ready, got out of my tent before 6, start seeing the other light, set up my camera, and I'm here. I believe that there's a painted lady and then there's a glant pass going over right there. A little bit of uh, that uh, kind of U-shaped, very gentle slope down. So I believe that that's uh, glant pass, but I don't know, I haven't been up there, so. So right now, I, oh, there you go. So I've got, uh, in order to have the, uh, the smooth water surface, I used three step ND filter. And that looks good, uh, but a little bit more than 90 seconds. So it's not bad. I got I wanted all the details, but then also I wanted the other sky to be a little bit natural, blue sky. Uh, you know, there's a little bit still hue in it rather than like kind of blown out. I may I want to do bracket uh, uh, later on anyway. So I like the shot. This is the uh, earlier I wanted to get the sky and a little bit of. Uh, um, contrast but also I wanted to details in the in the water in the in the mountains that's why so yeah once again like you see I start seeing the ripples because of the wind 
it may not be as good as uh, the last one that I just took. Yesterday, I was uh, looking at this small island and uh, thinking to myself, it would be nice to uh, cross the other uh, lake and then you know, set up my camera right there <laughs> to have the other uh, better uh, better vantage point toward that because, like, you know, there's more uh, there, more uh, lake shore. So, kind of because I it. The, where I am is kind of kind of just out into the, uh, the the lake and then kind of goes inward there's a cove and then comes around comes around like that so I was thinking that uh, if I were there probably it would have a kind of different view like that I was hoping to catch the uh, the Big Dipper and the Polaris and everything but and then I was gonna do the star trails of them, but that was when uh, the mist set in. So basically, my lens got fogged up. And then uh, I've been there like the night before. Once uh, the mist set in, um, it's particularly for a long explorer, it's impossible to do it. You know, maybe short, like a few seconds, but you know longer than even like 30 seconds for just a simple night sky that was impossible so I just uh, bailed it and then uh, went to bed instead kind of wish for the uh, better sunrise t this morning but I don't know I, as, as you can see not much of a sky in the uh, clouds in the sky and, Maybe the um, you know the really bright yellow uh, glow, sunrise glow, will come up later as the uh, sun approaches the uh, the ridge line over there. But I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so while I was taping it, um, the the mem memory card got full so I had to stop it and then also meantime I changed um, ND filter because it was a lot brighter so three stop ND filter wasn't working anymore um, so I changed switched to uh, six stop ND filter and uh, still I kept the uh, ISO at 100 uh, but um, the exposure got a little darker at about 70 seconds so I change the uh, uh, f-stop to from 11 to 8 and um, uh, this time I ran it at about uh, I don't know 194 seconds so we'll see how that looks what I'm trying to do is there are ripples in the water so I'm trying to smooth it out as much as I can um, I don't know but um, I don't know if you can see it. The clouds are gorgeous. The sun is coming up soon. I hope that uh, it'll show. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the orange glow starts showing right there. So I changed the, uh, the oops. So I changed the other uh, setting again. Uh, I kept the uh, the six time in the filter, but I um, 
I changed f stop to 5.6 as you can see and then I ran just about 26 seconds it's cold so yeah it looks pretty good now but um, like I said I'm just waiting for the uh, the orange glow to fall on those mountains right there we'll see yeah because of the uh, the wind all the ripples and kind of smooth it out but it's really hard to get that like you know beautiful reflection oh well that's life well beautiful orange glow falling on that the mountain over there You see the orange glow? That's what I'm waiting for. sleeping bag it's really cold um, probably another uh, three or five minutes for the glow to hit right there Uh, the wind has come down just a tad bit, so it's not as cold. But I still have my uh, sleeping bag on. You never know, it's getting there. You see the, all the glow? Beautiful, right? Do you see uh, the glow? And then I'm hoping that I'm getting the reflection of the glow as well. So, right there, getting the glow. I know it's kind of boring at the bottom, but, um, Unless I'm gonna move actually. Okay, so I did a, another, a few actually long exposure shots right here. around the entire rock formation, right? Uh, we're gonna have breakfast soon. It's a little bit of a slow start than uh, we expected because it's so cold. Let me show you the, the frost. that it's a really cold nonetheless it's beautiful
my son. I left the, uh, this uh, water filter bottle outside my tent. And there's ice in it. <laughs> it was cold last night. And it's still cold. It's windy. Well, I mean, basically wind. It's the wind that makes it really cold right now. So the sun is up, but still cold. Anyway, time to pack out. Just talking to a gentleman who was actually going around the other uh, lake shore uh, fishing, and he caught actually uh, quite a bit. <laughs> as soon as I uh, he's dipping his uh, bait, and he caught uh, two um, trout. He said um, there are uh, golden trout and also brook trout, um, and then he took off, and then <coughs> he caught more over there. And then he on his way back, we started talking with him. And um, yeah, he actually started through uh, Kearsarge Pass and then Glen Pass, and he's heading to Dollar Lake. I'm sure that uh, he's gonna catch more, a whole lot more at Dollar Lake. He said about eight or nine inch. That's about it though. So, but still, I think that that's, um, you know, happy with the, uh, whatever you catch. Cause uh, you know, you catch them and then, you know, you can eat them here. So if that's what you want, why not? Beautiful lake. How blue the, the the color of the water is. So beautiful. Yeah, so we're told that uh, only the trail is kind of slushy. There's no ice that uh, we were kind of worried about. That was uh, I was what I was told uh, by Seki um, Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park, a wilderness office, when I communicated with them by email that uh, there might be some uh, ice patches on our way but then they say that north side of a uh, glam pass I don't know. we'll see but you know the gentleman said that uh, only a slush is anyway so which is good uh, we didn't we thought about bringing uh, micro spikes but we didn't and uh, we're gonna kind of wait it out until uh, kind of it warms up a little bit anyway Ready? Almost ready. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'll meet you up. Okay. Well, I'll be slow anyway. Here we go. Okay. Isn't it cold?
there's an island. It's nice to uh, swim across the lake and uh, spend a uh, couple hours there. Sunbathing. Beautiful. Oh, there's another bigger island. Nice. Are you going to do a skinny dip? <laughs> I was going to, and then I saw you and someone else. Was like, oh, <laughs> 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 it's beautiful. Now. It is. But are you gonna really jump in though, a little bit? Like I think so right now. Yeah. Oh wow! Okay, let me capture you. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Good. Wow! Woo. It's not cold, is it? Woo. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's deep, it's super deep. Yeah. Awesome. Not too late. You can do it too. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a long long road ahead. But uh definitely uh, when I post my video on YouTube, you can check it out. Uh, Peter, but uh, it's a uh, H Peter, H Peter, and then J I last name G, so it spells J I. So check it out. Cool. Yeah, Sweet. like about like three weeks or so. Okay. Put it all together. What all right. Your, what's your trip? Uh, we're doing the loop. A uh, friend of mine is uh, coming somewhere because I'm slow, so I I had a head start today. Okay. Yeah. You started at Roseanne. Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. And then uh, we're gonna go up to Kirsarge Lake and spend the night there, and then. Maybe we're gonna spend night at uh, what is it? Uh, uh, East Lake. Okay. Yeah. If not, Junction Meadow. Okay. And then just head out next day. Okay. Cool. Yeah. What about you guys? We came from Kearsarge and Onion. Oh, okay. So we just came back tonight. Yeah, we just spent the night, so we're gonna head back today. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Sure. You, you, oh, <laughs> you guys are not going up to like a Dollar Lake or anything? Charlotte Lake? We're going to do Charlotte or we're going to do uh, one of the Kearsarge Lakes maybe because we huh. have to be out on Saturday night. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. but it's, uh, it's a killer up here. <laughs> it's all year. <laughs> but I heard that, uh, you know, going up this way from like from here to the over, you know, the other end yeah. is a lot easier than actually, you know, how you guys did it. Oh, really? Well, that's good to know because well, the way we did it was killer too, but we heard the, the opposite. Oh really? But I think every, you know, I think it's it's just a tough pass either way. I mean, like w because uh, you know, whoever I talk to, you know, most people say that uh, the clockwise is a lot easier because uh, the Glen Pass. Well, you know, that's that's probably true because downhill it was it's pretty steep going downhill. Oh, okay. Which was really tough on my knees. Oh, okay. The backside once you get above the pass, it's kind of pretty. S uh, there's a little bit of switchbacks that are steep at the top, but that's it. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, from there, it's all downhill anyway, right? Yeah. Enjoy the path. The pass is spectacular. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. All right. Nice seeing you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was a really good jump, by the way. Oh, thank you.
you never know what you end up catching or who you end up talking to. Sometimes those are the little things like that makes the whole journey worthwhile. Of course I'm here to take photos but definitely it was a awesome dive. It's a gorgeous view. Wow. No, oh, we're just doing the loop. Okay, the Grand Lake Loop. Yeah. How's it been? Have you started? Uh, Roads End. Roads End? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it was good except that, uh, you know, I wasn't uh, acclimated enough. So yeah. I was having a hard time going up the, uh, the Woods, uh, Woods Creek yeah. up to Suspension Bridge. And then, uh, yeah, another half day struggling and then I got better. So, yeah, I feel good because I, I was really worried about the Glen Pass, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm good now. So yeah, or yeah, <laughs> this is my first time. So and uh, you know, a friend of mine did it. She's coming. Uh, I don't know somewhere, but yeah, she's on it. And yeah, yeah looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, you know, that that was our original plan. You know, get here yesterday early and then uh, go up. But uh, yeah. because of the uh, whole acclimation, yeah, <laughs> wasn't happening. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all good. It's uh, up like at 2.5 miles. Is it straight up? Uh, well, yes, but then, you know, you know, the, considering the, the, the distance, it's a lot of elevation gain. So, yeah. so okay. but yeah, if you have like, you know, f you know, extra five miles, why not? Right? Yeah, I got time. <laughs> You're doing the JMT, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm only doing um, the 30 bit the last Oh, time. okay. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that what you didn't finish last yeah, time? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, That's cool though. Yeah. How many how many days have you been on then, uh, right now so far? Three four days. Oh okay. Where, yeah, where did you came in? Ah yeah, okay. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. And then how many more days are you expecting? Uh, three more. Oh really? Yeah, to Whitney. I'm taking my time. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Really, from here to Whitney, only like three more days? Yeah. yeah oh, okay. You must be really fast. No, I, it's like maybe fourteen miles a day. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean. Still, you know, that doesn't look like an ultra light. I mean, wow, you must be a, you must be fast. It's not ultra light. Yeah. It could see you Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm going to jump in with those guys. And I haven't taken a shower in a while. Have a good one. Alrighty. Have fun. So, this is a 60 lake basin trail well definitely i'll have to come back anyway keep going hello good how are you guys jmt oh okay same here <laughs> Are you doing the JMT or the loop? JMT. Oh wow. How many days have you been on? Uh, oh okay. Five. So you started from Mount Whitney then? I started from Horseshoe Meadow. Oh okay. Oh okay. Yeah, That's right cool. Here. Well we're just doing the loop. Um, my friend is somewhere behind but because <laughs> <laughs> I'm slow so I just had a, a head start. But uh how how has how has been like the weather wise? Oh, okay. So probably that was the same time when we uh, when we camped at uh, uh, Sentinel Campground at uh, Road's End. Okay. We had a, a huge downpour. Yeah. And uh, about like four days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everyone I've talked to, no matter where they've been, they had the same. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, we 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 camped at the uh, the campground, and the whole campground got flooded. Yeah, I mean, like you know, my like a uh, you know, I you know, water water didn't come into the you know the inside the tent, but like everything like like it created its own like a little moat around the uh, the yeah, tent, yeah. so it was it was scary. <laughs> yeah, I was up near Guitar Lake. Oh, by okay. Mount Whitney. Oh wow. So I was pretty high in elevation. Yeah, yeah. Lightning. Oh wow. It was really close. <laughs> That's crazy. That was fun. That's cool. Good morning. How you doing? Good. Morning again. 
So uh, just in case, like, I have to write down your name so that, uh, you know, you, at least like who jumped, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just nice to meet you. Okay. Good luck on your the whole thing. Uh, Luke. Luke. Yeah. Okay. At least I got it on the camera, so. Sweet. Awesome. And then what's your, what's your name? Zoe. Zoe. Okay. <laughs> we'll look you up in a couple weeks. Okay. <laughs> See ya. See ya. So this is one of the snow patches they were talking about. Yeah, I see it because the sun would have, I think the sun rose that way. And that's why this part wasn't <coughs> melted till probably a couple of weeks ago when I contacted them. Anyway, it's all clear. And I assume that's uh, the guys going over there and that's where Glen Pass is. Can't wait to see the view from the top. By the way, I feel great. I don't have any uh, cramps or um, breathing problem or anything like that right now. I feel I feel like uh, you know I'm me now. And uh, there's uh, switchbacks. Piece of cake, really. I wouldn't say piece of cake, but yeah, it's not that hard. But I can see that. Uh, it could be a lot harder, you know, coming out from the, the other side of a Glen Pass. But anyway, I feel good, really, really strong. I guess uh, the two and a half days of uh, the adjusting period, right, for acclimation. Anyway, I feel good. Keep going and uh, I'm gonna take a quick break, or, you know, a uh, long break until uh, Maddie catches up. Guess what? I thought, uh, around here is a glam pass but I guess uh, this is it I see people there <laughs> oh my goodness still a lot of climbing to do holy crap what am I gonna do <laughs> this reminds me of uh, Hitchcock Lake there are two lakes. Oh, actually, there are three. And then, looks like a Mount Whitney reach line. Really cool. Must be a freezing cold. See the, uh, the snow patches. <clears throat> Beautiful. It feels like going up Whitney. Oh 
buddy. How are you guys? Down. It's okay. Thank you, sir. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Where are you headed? Uh, after the pass, probably Kearsarge Lake. I don't know. Yeah. Are you guys doing the JMT? No, no. 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 Ray Lakes Loop? No, we just came out of Onion Valley. Oh, okay. Going down Ray Lakes. Oh, you guys are with the other uh, first guy. Oh, no, it's just us four right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess there are a bunch of people there. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good. Alright, thanks. The view is as good as the other uh, going up the Mount Whitney via uh, Guitar Lake or uh, Hitchcock Lakes. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Isn't it, eh? Beautiful. All right, take care. You too, sir. Okay, here I am. Amazing view. Again. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Amazing view. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. How's it been? Pretty like relatively. Hello. How did it? Hello.
Okay, here we go. 360 degree view. down to the lake and Maddie has gone down and she's right there ready. I'm gonna catch up but uh, such a gorgeous view earlier I saw I see two people over there but uh, I saw earlier uh, another person actually diving into the water must have been really cold. Look at that. There's still snow patches and <clears throat> anyway, time to go down. Yeah it is. It is a nice spot. Very nice. Yeah probably this is where yeah, that guy spent the night at. You know, finishing the whole loop in two days. Three years ago, this lake was a lot more shallow. You could see, you could see kind of sand, and now it's it's pretty full. Huh. Well, thanks yeah, to the wet beautiful. winter. Yeah, beautiful indeed. I wonder uh, when it was like that low, you know, fish survived. I bet there was no, there definitely was no fish in it the last time I seen it. Oh, uh, okay. So no fish. I mean, it was so shallow, maybe. It is so crazy. Yeah. Well, definitely less than another year because there's still so many snow patches uh, to melt, right? Yeah. So, just beautiful. Okay, now we are below tree line. I'm sorry? Pretty through here. Yeah, I was uh, yeah, saying. Getting uh, in the tree line. Yep, I, that's what I was saying. Okay. <laughs> the smell of the pines. Yep, and the oh, lots of. I love the smell. Yeah, I love the smell and uh, lots of lots of shade too. I mean, it's not too hot or anything, but. Rather have a shade than a no sun, no shade at all. Always. Oh, look at the valley view. Isn't 
that gorgeous or what? Isn't that pretty? She's already pooped. She's like done. Yeah. I think it's maybe 15. Did you, did, you, did you hear that they started from the uh, suspension bridge? Yeah, they did it eight miles. Yeah, so that's why. I don't know. That's Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. JMT? PCT. Oh, wow. PCT. Wow, awesome. Oh my god. That was 298 or something like that left miles left. Is it, is it a little bit late in the season though? Not the way I'm doing it. I, I mean, I, I respect that, but I'm oh, usually that's how. Oh, you break it off. Oh. I skipped all the Sierra and went up and oh. did Oregon and Washington then. Went south from there to South Lake Tahoe, and then just got back on the trail a few days ago. So you did oh, wow. now I'm going north. To yes. get the good for you. Yeah, that's smart. That's great. I mean, who cares if it's the one way? Right. Break it up and make well, it more enjoyable. Right. Well, well, that was the plan. In Northern California, I probably could have. I don't know. It was pretty hot. Oh, it was. <laughs> so I know. How long have you been on the trail? Since May 10th. Oh wow. So how? Wow. wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, I never thought. Still, I'm I never thought. Lost about all I can afford to lose. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so awesome. How many so where are you headed? A little less than 300. Wow. Oh. Well. Wow. I'm thinking maybe 17 days. And how much weight are you carrying for you? Are you? Uh, my pack's kinda... pretty light. I would say so I I went out Kearsarge Pass yesterday. Uh huh. Went in and got six days worth of food and came back in this morning. And uh, I would say that my pack is about 32 pounds right now. For really? Go how many days with that? Six. Six days. Yep. That's 32 only? Really? Wow. It's because that stupid bear canister. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it I looks know. bigger. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And my tent's in there and my puffy jacket and all that stuff's in there. And so where are you from? Tennessee. Tennessee. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Are you? Have you already done AT then? Yes, I have. Oh, I had a feeling right away as soon as I heard Tennessee. Right, well, nice Actually, to meet uh, you. got a AT oh, there you go. Now <laughs> you're gonna get your other one. Let yeah. me uh, let me uh, film that for you. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Yeah. And uh, what's your name? Grasshopper. There you go. Because <laughs> uh, I'm filming it, and then I'm gonna uh, load up to my YouTube channel. Oh, awesome. Yeah, pr pr it'll be probably up. Uh, I don't know, three weeks or something like that. So. Cool. When you're done with the PC, just check it out. Right. Well, what, what is your channel? H Peter J I. Okay. H Peter J I. I'll check it out. All right. Thanks. Have good fun. Good, good luck. Thanks. That is awesome. Oh, that's smart. That's another way to do it. Definitely. Awesome. So he's got just the California section, 300 miles to go. There we go. Well, he says 17 days, right? Sure. So uh, he's going to be up at the California border, right? Yep. Pretty he cool. May 10th. Yep. I mean, you know, that's sort of a, around the time that the people start anyway, like uh, late March, uh, mid-April. But uh, they just uh, do it straight through. Months, right? Huh? I guess so. I guess that six months is uh, average anyway. Hello. GMT? Oh, here's another PCT here. Yeah, you got one ahead of you. I know. Oh, oh wow. Okay. You, you guys, guys are traveling together, kind of? Uh, I've just been leapfrogging with him for a few days. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Are you, so you have like broken up too? Like, you know, doing like, you know, what, you know, California first or later or something like that too? I've jumped all over the place. This yeah. Time. It's oh. Been hard to. Oh, because of the winter. The so, yeah. There's so much snow. And then I was hiking in Washington and the whole state's on fire. So then I was like, oh, so a lot of you guys had to do that this year then. <laughs> make adjustments or i guess yeah. some do yeah. Adjustments, so. yeah well you're doing it <laughs> and then we'll, it. so you're just finishing the uh, california section then i hope so oh, yeah. okay how many days are you expecting probably the second week of october oh wow i'm going up to sierra city uh-huh if the weather holds wow and then i'll be done for the season yeah and then do wash finish washington uh, now how many miles then would that be when you're done this season um about two thousand. Oh. 
So that that's about like 600 more, right? Is yeah. that it? Yeah. So awesome. Next year. Oh, awesome. Break it up well, then. you're on my uh, YouTube channel video. Okay. So what's your name? Unicorn. Unicorn. You got it. So, <laughs> and uh, my channel is H Peter J I. If you remember, check it out. Okay. Like featuring unicorn and uh the other one was uh what was it I grasshopper yeah grasshopper and then a bunch of other guys <laughs> yeah um mr peanuts the one that's ahead of me that I oh, he's probably even further ahead oh, oh yeah probably because the one that just, just passed us grasshopper. is a grasshopper oh, okay yeah i haven't even talked to him yet so. oh okay <laughs> all right <laughs> good luck Look at the rock. Just magnificent. I'm Bubba, uh, <laughs> awesome. finishing up my PCT hike. I got about 360 some miles left this year. So you're sort of doing the other uh, California section now? Yeah, I, I skipped from, uh, let's see, Cure Surge Pass up to uh, like Donner Pass, okay. I-80. So I have 368 miles of makeup and then I'll be done. Oh wow. So and then uh, you've done like, all of it like before, like uh, earlier in the earlier season, right? Yeah, 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 I was just up in Manning Park. I finished uh -huh. up up there about three or four days ago. Oh, wow. And then got back down here and awesome. started back in. Was that uh, smoke really bad, fire really bad in the, uh, the Washington and the uh, Some area? of them were, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the one up by Manning Park wasn't affecting us too much. Oh, okay. A couple of days before that, though, we were pretty much, you know, you couldn't see the views because of all the smoke. Oh, wow. Yep. Awesome. So, like, how many days in total? It's oh. gonna be, do you know? No, I'm not even real sure. I took 25 days off. Oh, okay. Uh, and then hopped back in with the group that I was hiking with. Right. They got through the Sierras. Right. So that added a month to my trip. But right, right. I started April 26th and I should be done about October 1st. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so you'll be done earlier than, uh, I think, a grasshopper. I don't know about you. I don't but... know how many miles they're doing a day. I got oh, okay. 368 and I'm doing about 25 a day. Okay. So wow. About 15 to 18 days. Should be done. Wow, I mean, I th that's what he's projecting too. So like a 17 days or something like that. Yeah, so. you know. yeah about the same then. Wow, yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. What's uh, your, the the most memorable? Oh goodness. That's uh, I mean, I know that you know, been, it's all crazy, but yeah, I know. Uh, Washington so far was the prettiest, uh, and I think this might beat it. Yeah. Um, I mean, you love the uh, the uh, you know ray legs and all that up to suspension oh, bridge yeah. it's so beautiful i'm sure this is going to be really pretty yeah it's nice i get to do them back to back so i can compare which one i think ah the there you go yeah. <laughs> that's awesome and last time i was here it was a little like tons of snow because i was here like june oh like eighth oh really when i went over forester i think oh okay and a lot of snow yeah <laughs> way different i mean that was uh you know one one of the main reasons this year earlier in the season many people I mean, the PCs are like a kind of postponed or kind of delay their yeah. uh, start, right? Yeah, a lot of people actually got out in like Bishop or Independence, came over Cure Sarge Pass, mm. and then they would flip up to uh, to Ashland, Oregon. Hello. Hi. Oh, wow. They would okay. Go to Ashland and either go north or And then uh, they can do that south. later. Yeah, and they'll just come back and kind of uh, do what I'm doing. So a lot of people just kept hiking. I just took like a month off okay. and jumped back. Yeah. okay well i never it never crossed my mind but yeah i guess uh you know you're determined to finish it anyway oh yeah yeah, yeah. there you go awesome you gotta get done in one calendar year to be a through hiker so i know right yeah awesome good yep. for you well, thank you yeah 17 i don't know 16 more days but uh you'll yeah. be done and uh you know one more to uh you know cross off right yeah exactly have you done uh, the at though yet yeah i've done the oh. at i did the at in 2014. oh wow okay so, last and then left are you gonna are you gonna cdt uh, eventually it might be a while i might wait until i retire or do that one that way that's <laughs> okay i can actually start kind of working and not taking six months off well 
I don't know when it when it would that be, but a triple crowner. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Well, all <laughs> well, right. Take care. All right. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Okay. All right. Have so a nice hike. My my channel is H Peter G H Peter? G and it spells J I. Okay. So yeah, if you remember, check it out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Take all right, care. Take care. I'll show you on that. Okay, sure so we're doing. about to head to uh, Kearsarge Lakes. Active bears. Maddie is taking photos of that just in case. And I'll video film it just in case. And she is doing the GMT. Yeah, <laughs> certainly am. Uh, do you want to have a look on the map? Sure, yeah, yeah, sure. So that must be uh, Bob's Creek then after all. Okay. So change of plan, uh, we are heading to Junction Meadow. So first up, uh, we go down to uh, Vidati Meadow. And uh, instead of uh, spending any night at uh, Videti Meadow Campground, which is an extra uh, couple miles in the opposite direction. Um, <coughs> we're heading straight to the Junction Meadow. And then we're gonna spend the night there. We're not going to go to East Lake tomorrow because uh, Maddie wants to get out tomorrow. So, in order to shorten the distance so that we can actually have uh, driving time tomorrow while well, I was saying that uh, in order to shorten the, uh, the driving time from here back home um, I figured that uh, we make uh, progress today um, so Bob's Creek this valley is beautiful <music> Where's the, uh, the bear box? Oh, okay. And uh, there are more campsites? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Forty-five minutes ago, uh, we got the uh, our camp set up. We got uh, we're gonna have fire going tonight. This is a uh, Vidat or Vidati uh, Meadow Campground. Uh, first, at least the first one has the that has the uh, bear box. It's over there, but we decided to stay away from the uh, the main spot. There's uh, one more a couple actually spending behind that uh, fallen tree, but. Uh, other than that, we're the only one here. Uh, I mean, I saw like a couple people over there, but Maddie just got the water. And then I'm gonna get the uh, fire going soon. And we're gonna have dinner here, and uh, we're gonna relax, and we're gonna head out tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to uh, do some uh, photography uh, before the sun sets, but we'll see. Anyway, let me uh, get the fire going first.
it's a very chilly morning. Got up like about 15 minutes ago. So we had a really good fire last night. Maddie hasn't got out of her tent yet. I was thinking yesterday, well, we're, we got the other campfire going. There's so much wood to burn, but they're, they're too big. It may take a while for the sun to come up. Uh, I assume that's east, I think. And that we're in the woods anyway. Good thing is that there isn't much of a condensation. So that's good. I'm gonna have, uh, boil some water and have coffee. It's really cold. Well, I also heard that if you keep batteries in the freezer, it keeps them from... Maddie, Maddie is talking about batteries yeah. right now. So... <laughs> anyway, I'm having coffee. It's so cold that uh, we have to keep ourselves warmed up a little bit. With the sun, wait for the sun to come up. Well, the thing is that the sun may not come up till like 9 or 10. It will get warmer though. Won't the, the sun will come up over over there behind, uh, behind our tents. Well, it was, the air will still warm up though at least, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. It's quite chilly so it's uh, definitely uh, our morning going really slow. <laughs> Summer's over. But you, you guys also saw the, uh, the aspen trees turning yellow so definitely summer is gone. <laughs> So Maddie is working on her breakfast and I'm having my oatmeal. Oh, chia seeds and goji berries. That's mm, what she yum. says. <laughs> and uh, she gave me ham seeds. So I added that uh, to my oatmeal. It tastes like a chestnut more like, but overall, I don't know, I really can't taste a difference. <laughs> But it's yeah, nutritionally good. That's what she says. Warm food in the more chilly morning. Oh man. Oh, wow. the sun is uh, coming up over there. I mean the, the sun, 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 sunrise glow. Yeah, so the sun is coming up probably around there. This is how much trash I have collected for the last five days. I'm gonna filter some more water so I use it all uh, Mad Maddie had to use some we're gonna break down the tents and some uh, packing to do and then uh, I don't know probably we'll head out at uh, I don't know 8 30 or 9 Maddie wants to wait for the Sun but we're not gonna have you know, the Sun for quite some time because you know we're in the woods and you know yeah that's the thing like when you're in the woods you can't really have much of a photography opportunity unless you have a a uh, little bit of clearing so I was trying to take some photos uh, of the uh, Milky Way over there there's a little bit of like you know kind of opening and also there's a uh, creek going down where we got the water from I tried that too because the Milky Way was rose from there but these tall trees as gorgeous as they are they're not really helpful for the nice guy. So I try some um, star trail through the uh, opening between the trees, uh, but we'll see how that goes.
Uh, we are ready to go. Uh, made it uh, took off already. I was actually uh, left behind uh, taking some more photos because I didn't take any yesterday other than the Milky Way shots uh, and uh, um, uh, star trails. I think I'm ready to go. Maybe I'm going to take a couple more shots right here. Uh, actually yesterday afternoon um, when we're you know, pitching the tent uh, that the, the light was better then but I was uh, busy uh, gathering the woods and stuff like that for a campfire so well it is what it is anyway um, I'm gonna take a quick more shots and then uh, have to catch up with Maddie and then uh, we'll be uh, heading out uh, uh, to a road's end today Vidat or Vidati Meadow, surely a pretty one. And we uh, camped at the campground, it's campground. And it's all downhill from here, losing all the elevation gain that we had. I don't see Maddie, so she's way ahead of me now. Beautiful place. Here we go. Exposure here. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me okay, but so I'm using a 10 stop ND filter and uh, bulb 11 ISO 200. I'm, I'm gonna do some bracketing because of the uh, exposure contrast is too, uh, too great so. Basically, probably I'm gonna capture three to five different eye exposures and then um, uh, composite them together. It's a sideways, but I did 45 seconds, 25, 11, and 9. But that was with the uh, uh, 6.3 f-stop rather than 11 so I got the all the details so I think that's pretty good for now I got the details in the water as well so I think that should do it better get going too
like entering a new world. It's a gate to the new world. Aspens are still green, but uh, slowly turning yellow. Waterfalls way up there. I know, but uh, that's what I, that's why I was asking. Whoops, did you see the uh, waterfalls up there? Oh, oh right wow, here. this is the one. So I've been here for a while because I'm not in so much. Okay, yeah, Maddie is so excited that these are carrying the guitars. Oh. I got a Luna. Oh, nice. Just so I don't have to worry about it as much. And I'm getting it set up right now. It's a good Where are you guys headed? Great Lakes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're doing a loop. Okay. Guys, yeah, we're doing the loop too. Oh, cool. So, are you guys having a, like a concert there then? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Lots of little lakes. <laughs> oh, but, uh, it's really cold at uh, Ray Lakes. Really you cold. Guys out there? Yeah. Yeah, we got the uh, frost in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a very well, windy up there. Okay. What's your What's your names? Goodbye. My name is Jake Tanner. All right. So are you the singer? Who's the singer? Oh yeah. Oh, he's the singer. Well, right. I'm making a video for YouTube, so if you guys remember, check it out. H Peter G. Last name spells J I. G. Forward you some of our stuff. Yeah. Maybe. We can't. Okay. Where are you guys from? Uh, from San Diego. San Diego. Ah, okay. Cool. Oh my my guitar instructor is uh, in a band. Nice. Midnight Satellites. They're like number one band in Temecula for, for the you know local area. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever in that area they jam all the time and they also play at uh, Coyote. Yeah. Coyote and uh Carlsbad. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Party once a month. Yeah, once a month. Like okay, awesome. Bye. Good seeing you guys. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Right here. So, so, be, so some actually pronounce it Vidati, or okay. and then somebody pronounced it Vidat. Vidat. Uh huh. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah. So roads end 12.0 miles. Oh, there we go. East Lake three miles. Lake Reflection five miles. Oh, okay. Okay, we still have 12 miles to go. We got a long ways. So, check it out. So you can actually come back here, East Lake, and then Lake, lake Reflection. Oh, that's up in that little canyon there. Yeah.
that's the valley we came in and then that's the uh, valley we went in Paradise Valley and I'm heading back out again that way Misty Falls. Yeah, Misty. It sounds yeah. like it's supposed to be Misty Falls. Well, Misty Trail is... Yeah. Uh, in yeah. Yosemite, yeah. right? Okay. And uh, this is a junction where we're gonna go to the, to the left. <laughs> and then we're gonna come back this way. Alright, here we go. I think it's less than uh, three quarter miles left. I think that was the, uh, the fastest, one of the fastest walks I've ever done with my backpack on for the last two miles. So just completed the, uh, the whole Ray Lakes loop and uh, it was a lot of fun. Definitely this is uh, some place that uh, I want to come back for other lakes and uh, trails. Maybe I'll uh, combine a bunch of different uh, trails and uh, turn into a bigger loop. Uh, but um, definitely this is an incredible backpacking trip. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Thanks a lot. Okay, we got our last fire. And where are we at, Peter? Uh, it's either Vidat or Vidat. And it's beautiful here. We have the, per the river flowing. And big fire right now. So our last meal in the mountain.